take flight. What's up, YouTube? It's Elijah Wan Dream, and today we got the first 2K20 part gameplay of the year coming at you. So, I've got my shooting guard, six foot five, slashing playmaker. It is the Brandon Roy video that I did make. <clears throat> um, the only difference between this build and that video is that I did take away three defensive badges to apply three shooting badges so I could get the combination of gold catch and shoot, gold quick draw, and gold hot zone hunter. I only have a 64 three pointer right now. I'm definitely not shooting consistently, but all I have on right now is quick draw and I put on flexible release. I'm still trying to get my hot zones around the three point line. I've managed to get one so far, but it's pretty tough in career and especially in the park or rec. I think I'm shooting probably about 30 to 40% in the park and rec. I have got some greens in the park and the rec center. I've greened both. I've tried out base 38. It's all right. I don't know if it's the right base for this build, but I'm still trying to find the right jump shot for this build. Now, I don't know if there's any specific jump shots for non-shooting builds like this with low three-pointers. Like last year, you could use set shot 13, or you could use base 24. That's what a lot of slashers use. Or you could even use Steph Curry. I might try out Steph Curry still. I still have to try out that base, so I think I might even give that a go because that has been pretty solid and pretty consistent in past years. So once I get my shooting consistently down, I think I'm gonna be able to be pretty, pretty solid with this build. Some people are figuring out that all right, this build isn't shooting very consistently. I'm gonna sag off them, let, I'm just gonna hang in the paint. That definitely causes some problems, but at the same time, this build still catches a lot of bodies. I'm not even kidding. I could probably put a mixtape out by the end of this week of contact dunk animations. I'm not even kidding, and I probably will actually. Like, I'll, I'll do the first week mixtape. I already have at least 15 contact dunks, I bet. Like, and some of them are pretty damn nasty too. Right there, I have no idea what happened there, so I gotta throw in that little meme there. I'm probably gonna get back to that kind of style of editing, throwing in little memes and stuff like that. If you were tuned into my channel last year at all, and uh, my post-score gameplays, I would kind of throw in like little memes and stuff like that, just kind of like my reactions to the gameplay because I usually do post commentaries and you don't usually hear that. But if you guys want me to do live commentaries, definitely drop a comment down below. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that like and sub button if you're new. I would appreciate appreciate that very, very much. But yeah, this build, I'm actually definitely having a lot of fun on it. The only badges I have so far right now are Hall of Fame Contact Finisher. And I did put on Silver Relentless. I have Come Bronze on, Relentless. Man. And... I thought I was getting a lot more posters, a lot more bodies, but it might have been just against the team I was playing. And then because I put on Silver Relentless later, and then I didn't have a great game and I've only got like two contact dunks in a career game. And I was like, well, what's going on? Like he's not really finishing well or anything like that. So I think the badge is kind of useless. I, mean, I wouldn't say necessarily useless. I was playing Rec Center last night. I was streaming it. And I did do a driving layup in the fourth quarter, and then the Relentless Finisher did pop up then. But I think I'm just going to take it off for now and switch it to Giant Slayer. I kind of want to test it out. If you guys don't know, Mike Wang did tweet that Giant Slayer, it kicks in when the height difference of one inch, but it's not really that useful. The biggest use of it or the most effectiveness of it is what I should be saying is six inches or higher. So that's also why that my six foot five PG is also kind of a perfect height because this year I've seen a lot of people make six foot 11 power forward, six foot 11 centers. <laughs> so I'm six foot five. That's a six inch difference right there. So I can't wait to test it out even more. I only played probably one or two games with gold giant slayer definitely interested to Yikes. see that in the hall of fame and then once i get the combination of acrobat as well with the giant slayer Yikes. that's gonna be really nice you'll be able to absorb contact change the shot midair avoid the block 
and still make the layup. I want to see how less I get blocked compared to this. It would be really interesting to throw Giant Slayer in Hall of Fame one game and take it off and keep throwing it on and off just to see really how effective it is on avoiding getting blocked. Really interesting badge. I'm really glad it's in this year. I don't think I'm going to put on Slithery Finisher. I know people have been worried about it. Right there. First park game. First contact dunk in the year. And that dude even had his rim takeover on. I couldn't believe that I dunked on a guy with the rim takeover. Now I got my takeover here too, but unfortunately the end of the game. So my first park game of the year actually unfortunately was a loss. I did have a perfect game though, so I did have a pretty good game in the park. And I am averaging more points in the park this year than I am last year already. Uh, last year I averaged about 6 points, 2 boards, 2 assists. So it's a pretty average stat line, but like I'm pretty much like a team player and stuff like that. And when my post I would set screens, shoot threes, get boards, do lots of dimes. So it definitely spread itself, spread itself out right there. I did not mean to shoot that off dribble shot i uh, still had to get used to the uh shot mechanics right here is the first park win uh definitely a fun gameplay as well some nice dunks some nice highlights in there too but yeah i definitely really really like this build i would highly recommend it and i can't wait to get to 99 with this and then once you get to 99 you get those attribute upgrades no idea how that okay. went in but you're gonna get plus four so my 64 three now becomes a 68 with my jump shot boosts and my hot zones and my hot zone hunter badge once i get all that maxed out i should be able to hit and once i find the right base we should be good and then that's also going to be awesome for finishing uh my finishing badges now I think Mike Wang said it takes about 10,000 park games to 10,000 park wins to hit legend I'm pretty yeah. sure so it is definitely a major grind so it will be fairly rare but there are already 99s in the park or in the game so I'm pretty confident that I can get to a 99 in this build which is going to be really fun. But I'd also like to get those extra badge points because then I could try out Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher and all that kind of stuff. But I am going to put on Hall of Fame Macrobat, Hall of Fame Fancy Footwork, Hall of Fame Contact Finisher and then Hall of Fame Giant Slayer. So I have a pretty good combination of tools that I can use to finish at the rim. Good help, good help. The fancy footwork badge is definitely nice. I'm just leaving it to last because I can still do euros and spins and hop steps somewhat well and still fairly effective. So I'm just gonna leave that badge until the last because I wanna be able to change my shot. I wanna be able to dunk on people first. And my playmaking, I actually still have Hall of Fame Quick First Step. As you can see it popping up right there. And, but I put on silver okay. dimer. I'm working on my dimer badge now because people are struggling to shoot in the park and I am going to be playing quite a bit of online so and I like to help out my teammates and I got some shooter teammates as well so they definitely would benefit off of that boost. So I'm definitely throwing on Hall of Fame dimer on this build. Probably going to put on Hall of Fame ankle breaker as well. Got to put on handles for days and unpluckable. I'll probably rock with those for now. I think I might have one more Hall of Fame badge I can do. I might be wrong on that, but I'll probably do stop and go or space creator or one of the other uh, all handling badges because I definitely want ankle breaker on this build when I get my slash and takeover. If it's anything like last year, or if it is the same principles as last year, which I'm pretty sure, plus 10 ball control, plus 10 driving layup, plus 10 driving dunk. So that is definitely OP with the takeover, and then you got Hall of Fame ankle breaker. You should get a little boost to that. You're gonna be snatching ankles, then you can drive to the net. You got 99 driving dunk, you got Hall of Fame contact finisher, you got all the badges. There's gonna be some nasty clips this year. Like, I am thoroughly excited with this build. I can't wait to get it past 95 so I can get a little bit more attributes up to my three pointer. See right here, greeny with a jump shot 38. That's the jump shot I had on for this video, I believe. As you can see there too, bronze catch and shoot, and I do have gold quick draw. Something I do want to test out as well is silver quick draw. Apparently you get a higher green window in some jump shots, but it is a little bit slower, but I think I might be able to use that because people are sagging off me quite a bit. So I think I might be able to get off that jump shot that's a little bit slower, but I still have to find the right base for it. I'm pretty sure there's going to be bases like that where there are specific bases for non-shooting builds and stuff like that, or they just work better in general, you know what I'm saying? 
But that last possession there, that was a dumb spin move. I span right into him, which was really, really stupid. And this guy just decides, yep, I'm going to go between the legs, 360, and end it. And I'm like, all right. So there's our first park game and our first park win. Two pretty fun gameplays. I definitely enjoy using this build. I go four for six, one for two from three. Some nice little layups, dunks. But yeah, I definitely really enjoyed this build. I can't wait to get to 99. I would love to get the legend status, get those extra shooting and finishing and playmaking badge points on this build. Make it a monster. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day and peace.